Okay, so what I'd like to talk about was something that uh, Steve Sims just did recently for uh, Dan Fitzpatrick back there is uh, Dan on Necker Island um, had this, uh, we we're sitting around and let's give him a mic. And Dan, can you actually come up here? That'd be great. And I'll hand you this mic over here. And Dan was uh, listening to, I can't remember who it was that wanted to go sing with Jimmy Buffett. Who was that? Yeah, John. I forget. It was John. John, John, John. Okay. And uh, here you go. And basically, um, you were sitting there thinking, well, uh, I'd like to maybe see what journey. And, and yeah. So just tell the story. Yeah. Well, so here's the deal. I'm there with my brother, Gary, who's also my business partner, my best friend. So we're listening to John say, like, wow, I'd pay. Can I say dollar amounts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I'd pay $75,000 to Virgin Unites to sing with Jimmy Buffett if I could do three songs. Now, I love Jimmy Buffett, Cheeseburger in Paradise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's not my fantasy to sing with him. I can sing better than Jimmy Buffett. So I, I told my brother, I said, I wouldn't pay 75 bucks to sing with Jimmy Buffett. I wouldn't pay 75,000 bucks to sing with anybody. Well, except Journey. Hey, I'll do it. You know, and so I, I said, I'll, I'll pay $75,000 to Virgin Unites if you guys can set up this deal uh, for me to sing with Journey. And Branson says, sure, you know, I can make that happen. So I even talked to him again the next day. And because I thought, well, let's not make this just all about me, although that is my favorite subject. Let's do like a charity thing. So I created this idea to have a workshop, you know, because I teach trading, have a workshop and this and that. And I, I came up with an easy figure of about 70, uh, about 750,000, maybe a million bucks that I could raise for Virgin Unite. So Richard makes a phone call to somebody in his New York office who never called me. I called them three times. Love you, Richard, but love you even more, Steve. Um, they didn't do anything, didn't do a damn thing. And then so Joe talks to me, he says, he goes, because I'm asking Joe about it, hey man, Richard's guy I didn't do anything for a journey and I got money, I'll pay. And so he says, well, talk to Steve Sims, Bluefish. And Abby had also mentioned um, that, she, that Steve had done some work for her too. So I talked to Steve and I, I kind of thought he was full of crap because my first conversation with him on the phone was, um, hey, this is what I want to do. Uh, and he says, oh, okay, what, where do you want to do it? <laughs> and it's like I asked him if somebody could come over and wash my car. And he's just going, well, sure. <laughs> you know, and I, I thought, where have I heard this before? It's all I wanted to, all I thought was, well, maybe now he's going to say, well, I can make a phone call. And then he's going to call Richard Branson, secretary in New York, and we're going to do this again. Anyway, so this turned actually into a pretty big production for Steve because... My proposal was that I would sing for Journey, sing with Journey at one of their sound checks, because they do a sound check before every show, so you know it's not that big a deal for them to do. I would donate a bunch of money to Autism Speaks, sell seats to contributors who would donate money to Autism Speaks and all that. So I had this great idea and it all revolved around Journey's sound check. So the thing takes forever and ever, and I'm thinking, okay, well there's no way he's gonna do it. And so finally, he gets it done in the way I wanted it done. I mean, it was just amazing. He says, okay, we got the deal. We got a signed contract. Fine. Can I meet the band? Yeah, they'll meet with you before one of the shows. Mm -hmm. So I flew out here last uh, Friday and got to go backstage on Saturday and meet Journey. Not just meet those guys, but hang out with them. I sat behind Dean Castronovo when he was playing the drums during the show. It's really loud, but, <laughs> but I have these custom ear monitors, so it wasn't loud. Anyway, those guys were the greatest guys in the world, right? So guess what? They don't even do sound checks anymore. They don't even do them because they're Journey, and Journey doesn't do sound checks. So what are they doing for me? Steve set up literally a private concert with me. They're not, I'm not just showing up at sound check. Everybody's getting there early. It's just amazing. This is my dream. <laughs> and, and the best thing of all, though, is I'm going to raise a boatload of money for Autism Speaks, which is really cool. Yeah, yeah. It's all, it, it, I'm, I'm a crier. Yeah, no, which is good. It's better for a camera. Yeah. Really? Okay. <laughs> Hang on. And, and, and the marketing, 